Hi everyone, it's Linnea, and today I'm so excited to be doing a collaboration with Annalisa Gibson. Uh, she is a fellow crafter and friend, and she approached me and asked if I'd want to do a collaboration, um, basically where we would both pick a theme and a stamp set or something along those lines, and we'd both make a card and share them with you guys. So I'm going to link to her blog and YouTube channel in the description below. For this video, we decided to use the Winter Alpaca stamp set from Lawn Fawn, as well as Distress Inks to build a scene. So I wanted to create a spring scene. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and just selectively inking up the outside of this little alpaca so that I don't stamp his scarf. Now, when I re-stamped, I got just a tiny little smudge of black ink in the center of his body there, but I'm taking my Tombow sand eraser and just scratching away that ink, and you'll never even know that I made a mistake. So to color him in, I'm going to be using some Spectrum Noir markers. You could definitely use Copics. I encourage you to use what you have. You could even watercolor this little guy, you know, whatever. So I'm using EB2 and EB1 to color in his face, and then I'm going to switch, and EB2, which was my dark color, is going to become my light color for the body. I do this a lot with critters. I use the same colors in different areas of their body, so that, that way, you know, it looks like they go together, and I'm not using too many colors. So I'm using, like I said, EB2 is my light color, GB8 is my dark so I just kind of go around the outside of his body, and I like that Lawn Fawn, um, you know, the way they illustrate their stamps, because you can get shading just by going around the edges of the stamped line. So that's all I did with my dark color. And then I'm coloring in with my light color, and I'm going to come in with my dark color again and just do some dots. I like to do dot details on critters. I think it gives them some texture, and it just makes them look so cute. And then I'm going to grab my coordinating die and just cut him out. So I'm doing a lot of die cutting and a lot of ink blending here. So right now I have the stitched hillside borders. I lied to you. This is the stitched tree border. And I am going to um, ink up some, um, it is frayed burlap distress oxide ink. And I'm going to do that with both of my pieces here. The stitched hillside border is the one that you see there, the green. I used some cracked pistachio on there. I also used some tattered rose distress oxide ink with the little town border. And then these little trees from the stitched tree border, I used tumbled glass, shaded lilac, and wild honey. And I wanted to create a spring scene. Um, I think with the yellow, it almost makes it look fall. So if I do this card again, I definitely will leave out the yellow and maybe add in some pink or something. Um, but anyway, I also cut the grassy border and I inked that up with some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink. Here you can see I grabbed a sentiment. I wanted to make a birthday card. One of my resolutions, I guess you could say for this year, is to make more birthday cards. I hardly have any in my stash. And so I don't have them, so I don't send them. And I really want to send more. So I grabbed the Happy Everything stamp set and curved that Happy Birthday sentiment so that it would go along that um, stitched hillside border. So now it's time to just start gluing down all my layers. And there are seriously, I think, like five or six layers of cardstock here. So I'm using either liquid adhesive or tape runner adhesive on all of my pieces. I'm not using any foam tape because this card is going to be super thick and heavy as it is. And I'm using 110 pound cardstock for each of my layers. So really this is going to be quite dimensional. Um, I decided I wanted some clouds in my background. So I used the simple puffy cloud outline dies with some 110 pound white cardstock and added those to my background. Now I inked up my sky with tumbled glass and I also, those trees are tumbled glass as well, but I used a little bit of heavier hand on the trees just to give a little bit of contrast. You could definitely use two different colors though if you wanted. And what took the longest on this card was not all the die cutting and all the inking and all of that good stuff. What took me the longest was trying to figure out how to position my layers and where to put all the little pieces and all that. And 
I actually wish that I had put my little alpaca closer to my happy birthday sentiment. He kind of looks like he's kind of off in left field, but I still think it's super cute. I love the Distress Oxide inks for pastel colors and for spring colors like this. I chose the Oxide inks because they have that chalky, soft, smooth finish versus the regular Distress inks have that like bright finish. So that's why I went with the Oxide for this card was because I wanted it to be that soft spring colors. So this really is my card. I'm going to just finish gluing everything down and then that's it. Like I said, this is a collaboration with Annalisa, so I will link down in the description to her blog and to her video, and you can see how we both used the Winter Alpaca stamp set and Distress Inks to create a scene, and hopefully we both came up with things that are completely different. I love that about uh, products and craftiness, that it's all up to your interpretation. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye!